Hey folks, it's a tall turtle here, and welcome back to X-Plane 11. It's a bright, sunny morning here in the Philippines. I'm going to fly the Twin Otter today. Hopefully it's adorable. Short little flight. Um, it definitely cannot get worse than the previous one, so I'm in a good mood and ready to go. Actually, I'm going to take a screenshot of that, because that looks really cool. We're at the FBO in this little tiny airport. Where are we anyway? Of course, you can always check the description below, but we're at... Romeo Papa Uniform Golf, which is in Lian Airport in the Philippines, going to Romeo Papa Uniform Bravo Locan Airport in the Philippines. Quick little flight, 88 nautical miles, I guess. Kind of an island hop in a way. I know it's kind of cliche to do island hopping in a Twin Otter, but dang it, it's fun, and that's why we do it. So real world is turned off because they're having severe weather, completely unflyable right now in real life, which is fine because now we get some gorgeous clouds to look at. So without further ado, let's hop inside and get this thing going. Let's see here. Um, parking brakes should be set before people load, and it is. People can start loading now while we get our weight and balance. We do not need that much fuel. We only need like that much fuel, if even that. Almost 10 a.m. Almost at 10 a.m. in the morning. That's kind of redundant. Almost 10 a.m. All right, here we go. Remove the control lock. And the battery switch is here. DC master on. I guess, yes, that's off, that's on. Remove the GPU, which means you have to bring up our little black book. You don't hear that term much anymore, do you? The little black book. In fact, when I was like 14, my dad bought me a little black book. Never used it. Close the doors while we're at it here. And turn off the external power. There we go. Turn on some lights. Anti-collision and position. Strobe lights over here. Flight computer fans. Flight compartment fans. And arm the emergency lights. There you go. All right, hop down here, turn on the GPS already is. Turn this stuff on, even though we don't have the engine started, but we turned it on anyway in this one. There we go. Um, what else? Flight plan. Well, we're just gonna put the destination in there. Whoa, this one clicks. We're just gonna put the destination in, which is the Romeo. Um, Papa, whoa, whoa, no, 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 let's not get crazy here. Don't get crazy. Flying airplanes, especially pretend ones, is very serious business. All right, and what was it? Bra, whoa, not you, no, no, no. Bravo, right? Bravo. That's a different name than I have written down, but it's the right letters. R P U B R pub, R pub in the Philippines. Okie dokie. How far away does it say it is? 30 or so? What? Okay, hopefully that's the right airport. <laughs> We're gonna find out in a minute. Um, there we go. Quick and easy, I guess. Why is it a third of what I calculated? I don't know if that's the right one. Let's check the map in game. Um, right now we are here and we're going um, um, well, there's east. Um, no, yes? Yes, yeah, yeah, duh. Yes, it is. This isn't island hopping. This is the one where we go up the entire time to land because it is so high. It's what, oh, nope, nope. What is it? What is it? What is it? 4,200 feet and we're pretty much at sea level now. So we're going up to land. There's no cruise and descent. I'm getting my flights mixed up. I literally planned like 40 flights. Well, not 40, maybe like 25 flights. The other day when I was helping my kid with something and I forgot what I was doing. So there we go. Super simple flight up the entire time. Um, the UPI or GPS is gonna have to go direct here, but we might not be able to. We might have to go VFR and follow this and then land however we want because there's no weather. So there is our flight plan. A little jolted there, but I got it. All right, um, flight plan, flight plan, alternative barometer. It's going to be 2902 because there's no weather turned on. There we go. Let's go with that one. 
All right, test the caution lights. They're up here somewhere. Where? Uh. Right there, where it says test lights. So that just means you come down then. And is it this one? No. This one? Yes. They all work. Make sure the idiot lights work is going to be bright because it's daytime outside. Uh, close passenger door because you already did baggage. We're going to find the click spots here, wherever they may have been. Um, seriously? I can't. There we go. And close. All right. You are committed now. <laughs> close the pilot doors. Fuel boost, which I can't see from here. Can I see from here? What? I don't have a preset for that. Fuel boost. There we go. What is next? Fuel levers forward, which is that one. Throttles a little forward. These igniters both already are. Start switch for left engine. And it should be working. Let's come down here. There we go. It is preset too. Everything's spinning around, looking good. You can also look out the window and see it's spinning. Come up here. Whoop, no, here it's dead. Let's do the right engine. There we go. And again, come down here and watch everything spin around on the gauges. Or ask your passenger to ask, tell you if the engine is spinning. <laughs> hey, you back there. Are we running? Can you tell? I'm just a pilot. Alrighty. Here we go. Generators, you reset and then go on. So reset on, reset on. Ear bleed to both on. Where are they? Right there. Has it really been this long since I've flown this thing? Climate will warm it up. It's a cold morning. De icer on. Yeah, we play with these. Don't know what they do, but we play with them just because we can. Um, pedo heat right there. Confirm all, all warnings are out, and they are. Taxi lights on. Props forward as far as you needed to get going. And we are going to taxi. Oh, not that much. Simple. Oh, yeah, I love when it makes a dirt go crazy. We're going to taxi simply to the end of this runway. Very, very straightforward. And we're just going to head into the mountains and try to land in the mountains. Should be fine. In theory, it should be very easy. But, um... We haven't been doing so well, have we, lately? No. We've been doing terribly lately. Right, set the parking brake. Come up here, get the taxi lights off and the landing lights on. Um, hello, there we go. Flaps down to... Let's do 10 flaps on this one. Let's do... Yeah, let's do 10 flaps right there. I'm looking right there. Okay, what else do we need to do? Um, flaps 10, general entrance lights off. And one went on, one went off. Okay. Taxi lights off, line lights on. Start the clock. Start the clock. I can't see. Is it this one from here? Yep. Props forward. And take off speed 65 to 70. Uh, gear up if floats does not apply. I asked for climb speed. Oh, yeah, I have a new autopilot preset. Which one is it? That one. So you can see if they're pressed in or not. Because last time we've had problems with that. Okay. Holy cow, let me reset my brain and let's get going. All right, reset my brain. So parking brake off, fuel forward, and it's torquing like it should be. Try to stay centered. Try to stay centered. Try to stay <laughs> centered. Oh my gosh, and uh, uh, that was weird. It just dove to the right all on its own. All right, use the brakes to stop the wheels. Flaps coming in. And is floating all by itself. Um, we are going to hand fly for a while. Just because. Otherwise we would just simply set autopilot. And use IS hold. And alt. And away we go. But um, it's a very, very, very short flight. So let's just hand fly this thing a little bit. I'm following the purple line on the GPS. But like I said, we might have to take a valley in. Because we need to go up to 4,400 feet or so. And that is it, right? We're going to keep all of our lights on. What does it say here? Um, cruise, landing lights off at 10K. That won't apply. Keep levers full forward. And then get ready for destination with the weather, which doesn't apply either. 
and um, landing lights on are already going to be on. Approach at 100, flaps 20, touchdown to 75, flaps 30. That's it. Less than two minutes into the flight, and we're just going to hang out and fly. Much simpler than like the 727. Even simpler than the B1900, but not much simpler. All right. Um, I don't think I'm going to use autopilot. I think I'm going to fly by hand on this. We got to climb 3,000 feet to land. There's no ascent, cruise and descent. It's ascent and land. So let's have a little bit of sightseeing. And I'll catch you in a moment here. What a gorgeous sight. But because of the sightseeing, we climbed way too high. We climbed up to over 10,000 feet. I've been having to come down ever since. <laughs> because it was so nice to sightsee, I just wasn't paying attention to my altitude because I was outside the aircraft. So, um, what do we need to do? Let's tune in an NDB that I found, which I didn't see on Sky Vector. 272. Um, instead of fiddling with the switches, let's just tune it. 272. I'm going to tune them both because I don't know which is which. 272 for the NDB, that means this one, right? ADF, there we go. Yep, good. So now we are going to, gosh, hard to see. Without perfect vision, I'm going to point at this thing now. That's our airport. However, that's perpendicular to the airport, I believe, to the runway, I mean. So, um, it's going to be interesting figuring out the approach. Because we don't know the area, right? So we would have somebody with us generally who doesn't know the area. Um, all right, let's see. We're at, where are we? We're at 30, 500. We have to come back up now. All right, we descend, we descended, descended very quickly. That's because we weren't at 10,000 feet. I just can't read. All right, what a gorgeous, gorgeous sight, but we have to fly a plane. We are at 3,800. We have to get up to 4,400, so we still have to climb to land. Um, off camera I checked and there's an ADB, an NDB, so I tuned our ADF to 272, there we go, 272, so now that is pointing right at the, um, right at the airport, but it's kind of perpendicular though, our path right now is perpendicular, so we're going to fly through this valley so that we can keep climbing and not run into the mountains, and then when this gets really sensitive we're going to look for an airport, and then we got to figure out how we're going to land on it because we don't know the area and we're flying VFR. We're using this to help guide us. We're using this to help guide us. But really, it's a VFR flight. 
and we don't know the area. So it's very dangerous, very tricky, but I wanted to do it because I know we can. Let's have a look behind us before we enter the mountains and disappear into the mountains forever. Look at that, how gorgeous. Oh, that's a great view too, look at that. Wow, I would not trust me if I were a passenger right now. Alright, as gorgeous as this is, it is time to fly an actual plane. Not an actual plane, it's actually time to fly this plane. <laughs> Still don't know where the airport is, I assume it's around the corner of this mountain. Yeah, I assume we're going to come through here. And we're going to come around the corner, there's going to be an airport. So we're about a thousand feet above our landing altitude, so let's not ascend any further. Let's stay at this altitude. That should give us enough height to see it but then still be able to come down and land on it. I don't know what the approach would be because I think we're going to be kind of at an angle, but we're going to find out together here. Take a deep breath and hope for the best. Alright, trying to, trying to sight see while you make a turn is not, not a great idea. Let's, uh, let's be careful. So let's look at our altitude. We need to get down to 4,400 right now. We're at 5,800. So we got to come down 1,400 feet. Let's bring back throttles a little bit. Again, this entire thing is by hand. The airport is in sight, which is good because it's a visual approach and landing anyway. And we're just going to use this valley to get ourselves down. And um, keep an eye on that runway. Don't lose it, because if you lose it, you're not going to find it again. So, we got to come down a thousand feet now. It sure doesn't feel like it. It feels like we're going to be below, but it says 4,400 feet, right? Triple check that. It says 4,400. 4,200, yeah. So, we got to come down a lot. Here we go, turning on to final. All white on the pappy, so we are too high. Do not look at the terrain because you will run into this cliff because your eyes will play tricks on you and you'll aim for that. Look at the runway, the numbers, and the pappy, or the, the vast sea, or whatever in this case. Keep an eye on that. Do not look at the terrain. So let's slow this thing down because we want to get flaps out to 30. At 75 knots, I think. Yeah, 75 knots. So here we go. We're coming in hot, but that's okay. That's kind of how they do it. We have a very long runway, so we're going to take as much time as we want to land. Let's see here. Come on. Oh gosh, we were really high. That's okay. We'll bleed off a lot of speed as soon as we level off. Get the flaps out. It'll be like a dead stop. There we go. Flaps 10. Oh boy. Oh boy. We're hot. There we go. Flaps 20. See a slowdown in a hurry? Told you. And flaps 30. And it's going to sink like a rock, or it's going to float, but the speed is going to sink like a rock. Let's just make it smooth. We have lots of time, all the time in the world. Just let it float and let it stall out and touch down on its own. Stall and touch down on its own. Where are you? There you are. Boom. Can't even tell we touched down. Nose wheel down gently as well. We have reversers, but we don't need them. So we're just going to have flaps come in. There you go. Considering we had a mountain approach, we had no idea where we were. We came in hot, which isn't that unusual. And um, 
we used, we made use of the really long runway so that we can slow down, level off, and just let it touch down right at stall. And that's exactly what happened. Smooth as silk. All right, so let's get on. Let's get out of the way. We have people behind us. Flight time, about 21 minutes by the time we pull off. Very nice. Landing lights will turn off right now. Taxi lights will turn on if I can find them. There we go. About almost as simple as flight simulator can get. Flying at an ultralight would be even simpler, but about as simple as it can get. Alrighty, let's get off this runway so other people can use it. And um, sometimes when you have a bad approach, you can still have a nice landing. The rule of thumb is is bad approach guarantees bad landing. But when you're in the mountains and you're flying like not a hot dog, what's the name? <laughs> like, like hot shot or whatever. We did it. Alright. Awesome. Let's get out of here. So the people can use the runway. Let's just come right here. And stop right there. Hop inside set the parking brake. And what do we do to set shut this thing down? Taxi lights can come off. Props to Feather. Come down here. GPS and radio is off, but for some reason the GPS doesn't turn off anymore. Um, turn you off. Let's see. Fuel cut off. Fuel boost off. The icer off, which is up here. De icer, de icer, de icer. Turn that off. There you go. Anti-collision and position can come off. GPU outside. Let's hop outside actually for that. Get the GPU and the doors open while we're here. Or the Vegas doors, our handlers are doing that for us. Um, external power switch for external power. Come on, there we go. And what else? Generators come off. Generators off. Bleed air off, DC master off, open the doors we did, and the passenger doors, and we are right now. There we go. Hopefully you enjoy the flight, the props are still moving. <laughs> Everybody wait a minute. Hopefully enjoy Whoa, wrong, wrong keys, there you go. Hopefully you enjoy the flight, I certainly did. Almost as simple as can get. This is what we normally do. I guess I left my strobe on, didn't I? This is, is what we normally do. GA stuff. Um, the only jets we really do. We'll take out the 2727 sometimes. We'll take out the Eclipse 550 sometimes. But this was great. Considering we didn't know the area, it went okay. It was a rough approach, though. Would have freaked out a few people. But the touchdown was nice and smooth. So, very happy about that. Um, what else? That's about it. If you have a request for flight, leave it in the comments below. Always like, subscribe, share with your friends, do all the stuff so you can play the algorithm game, and I will see you next time.